Hello, I'm Susan Bartle, and my watercolor show called Wonder is opening at the Carriage Factory Art Gallery in Newton, Kansas uh, on uh, November 19. There'll be sort of staged uh, opening events uh, due to the COVID. Um, the word wonder is the word that comes to mind for me whenever I try to describe why I paint and why art is important to me. The word um, has multiple meanings, as you know. It means wonder as in miraculous and awesome and awe-inspiring. And it also means, I wonder why. Looking around my world, um, that sense of wonder for me gets really pulled in when it comes to flowers. Um, the intricacy of them, the um, complexity, the colors and how they change, how the light affects them, how does this thing connect to that thing? All of that is what kind of draws me to flowers and why I've always kind of, I come back to flowers or plants. My medium is watercolor and I've tried lots of other mediums and there's something about watercolor that keeps drawing me back. And what it is, is uh, you put the water on the paper, you put the paint in there and you put some more paint in there and then some more paint in there. And all of a sudden a wonderful explosion of color happens and the mixing is just, oh, a wonder to behold. I just love to see what happens when the colors interact. I have found that for me, painting with a limited palette is what works for me. So I just use three colors in all of my paintings. I use a, a yellow and a kind of a magenta red and a kind of a turquoisey blue uh, that kind of mimic printer colors if you think about it that way. And I, feel, I find I can get all the colors that I need, so I can get a really dark dark, and I can get, um, you know, all of the shades of green, for instance. By mixing them that way, I find I get um, paintings that uh, all look like they belong together. It has a, a consistency of vibrancy, and I like that about it. Watercolor, when I, when I started pursuing, it was just a continuous joy for me. So I've been refining my techniques and um, finding my own voice, my own style, uh, my own stories that I want to tell. And um, that's, it's been a journey, uh, but now I feel like I'm kind of finding my niche, my groove, if you want to say. Mm -hmm. And for the series like this, I, I have to think, you know, is it interesting in all phases of its life? Uh, does it lend itself to this kind of exploration? And some do and some don't, but. And I'm bringing several series. The botanicals, the, the peonies are new. I'm bringing a new a sunflower set. I'm bringing some hollyhocks. I'm bringing some birth month flowers. Um, I've got pears and tulips and rose, uh, iris. So uh, the idea of the story is that I focus on the beginning of the plant's life when it's at its prime and then when it's starting to fade. And then one anchoring um, piece that kind of holds it all together and is the glue for the, for the series. Uh, one of the wonderful things I discovered when I started painting in series like this is the interestingness of plants when they start to fade. I mean, look at that. That Look at all the complexity and the difference in colors and all the wrinkles and the lines and the color variations going from one part to another part. I, I didn't appreciate the beauty of fading flowers until I started telling stories like this. And um, I'm also in that 
phase of life <laughs> where that speaks to me. And I'm like, wow, there's beauty at this stage of life also. Thank you.